every government and every organization everywhere should put enormous energy into ensuring that people are well nourished because that quite simply is one of the most powerful ways to ensure that they can give the greatest possible intellectual and physical contribution to the future of their communities and nations. What we've all learnt over the years is that there's plenty of expertise in our world, there's plenty of capacity on which to build, there's plenty of examples that show the value of innovation and by respecting and trusting the capacities that we all have we will be able to work together for food systems that contribute to the health and nutrition of everyone everywhere. I've seen it myself through the work on the movement to scale up nutrition, just how much energy and capacity there is at community level, in nations, regionally and globally. And we need to find ways to help that kind of energy to come up and be nurtured so that it leads to good nutrition and the end of hunger. It's within our power to do it. We use the term food systems to describe the process through which food is produced, processed, distributed and made available so that people can access it in order to ensure that they're well nourished and healthy. Now a good food system contributes to nutrition and health of everybody everywhere. A good food system regenerates ecosystems so that there is plenty of water available, so that the land and soil are good, so that forests are available and so that there is biodiversity. All in all, a good food, systems, a good food system makes certain that ecosystems are strong.